Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the Godzilla 2014 ornament by Hallmark. Uh, I believe this is Hallmark's first foray into uh, Godzilla. I don't think they've made anything Godzilla-based before. And I'm pretty happy with this guy. Uh, it doesn't look as good as the promotional pictures did of it. Uh, it doesn't look as detailed as, as it, it did in the original picture. Uh, but it is still pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it does have the base there. It says Godzilla on it, and it's like a destroyed city. You can see all the destruction on the base there. Uh, and this one does have does have sounds, so we'll go into that in just a little bit here. But if you take a look here, uh, you can see there is some nice sculpted in detailing on him. Uh, like I said, it's not as good as it originally looked in the promotional pictures, but it is still pretty decent. Uh, and you can see he has some paint paint details in there as well. Um, I don't know how I really feel about that. It looks kind of weird in some places. Uh, but it is overall pretty good. Uh, the proportions are pretty accurate. There are some toys of the 2014 Godzilla that either has like a bigger head or or something like that. This one I feel is pretty accurate. The only issue is the uh, uh, the eyes. The eyes are kind of too big. Uh, but you can't really expect much on something this size. Um, like I said, it is pretty nice overall. I am very happy with it. Uh, it's 18 bucks, uh, which is it's kind of expensive, but it's that price because it's... It has noise. It makes sounds, so that's why it's probably that much money. But it looks pretty good. I am pretty happy with this guy overall. Uh, the spines are nice. The sculpt is nice. He's kind of rubbery, and the base is kind of a harder plastic. Uh, nothing moves. I like the tail. The tail is nice and long. And from a distance, it looks really, really good. But when you get up close and you see some of the paint applications on it, it gets kind of weird looking. But I would definitely recommend it for 18 bucks. It does look pretty good. I do like it quite a bit. Uh, and I'd say it absolutely is worth the $18 price. So we'll do the sound here now. So there you go, there's the sound that it makes. Like I said, 18 bucks for this. I'd say it's worth it. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's not the best Godzilla out there, but it is definitely a good one and a pretty good first offering from Hallmark. I am fairly happy with this one, and I would definitely recommend it. So I'll see you on Friday here again with a review of the Eagle Moss Borg Sphere. And yeah, I'll see you then, and thanks for watching.